Hi there, and welcome to C3 Integrated Solutions Microsoft Office 365 Tutorials. My name is Beth Trimmer, and in this tutorial, I'm going to talk a bit about some of the ways you can customize Microsoft Outlook Web Access. In this session, I'll cover how to access OWA's options and settings, selecting a theme, editing your personal information, setting up an out-of-office message, and adding an email signature. Let's get started. To access OWA's options, just click the Options menu right here. Pretty simple. Before I show you all the nitty-gritty of options, though, let me show you something fun. At the bottom of the Options menu, you can select a theme. Themes are purely aesthetic settings for the OWA interface. Think of them like skins or wrappers. They change the way OWA looks, but everything stays in the same place and functions exactly the same. So scroll left and right, try out a few themes, and find one that you like. Now on to more serious business. Click See All Options, which will take you to the main settings page. There's a lot of information here and lots of customization you can do, so feel free to look around a bit. But today, I'm just going to review the most important parts. First off, editing your personal information. This includes the address, phone numbers, and other information that shows up when someone searches for you in your company address list. To view and edit it, click the Edit button. You can scroll through your information, update whatever fields you like, and when you're done, just click Save. So, what else can you do on this main page of options? Well, one thing that I love to have a reason to do is to set up an out-of-office message when I go on vacation. To do that, I just click on Tell People You're On Vacation. This takes you straight to the Automatic Replies tab. To set up an out-of-office message, click the Send Automatic Replies button and enter your message in the text box below. You can leave the automatic reply on indefinitely, or set up a start and end date so you don't forget to turn it off when you return. There are also a few other options here that you can adjust to your liking, and when you're done, just click Save in the bottom right-hand corner. And voila! You're on vacation! The last thing I'm going to show you is probably something you should set up as soon as you start using OWA, and that's your email signature. To configure it, click on the Settings tab on the left of the window. It will go straight to the Mail tab and you'll see the email signature box right there at the top. Enter your signature information, use the font options to tweak how it looks, and then decide if you want your signature to automatically attach to every email you send or if you want to manually add it. If you'd like it to pop up on every email you send without any effort on your part, and that's what I'd personally recommend, make sure this checkbox is checked. When you're done, click Save at the bottom of the screen, and sleep soundly tonight knowing that you have a very lovely email signature. Okay, that's it! Everything you need to know to get started customizing your Outlook Web Access experience. Check out our full catalog of training videos on our YouTube channel. Or, if you'd like more information about Microsoft Office 365 or C3 Integrated Solutions, check out these links below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!